Hey you guys, so it's one hour until I turn 42. I'm technically 41 for the next, actually less, 50 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I just uh, went out to dinner with my mom. I took her out for my birthday because she made me, so I wanted to thank her. I stopped by my dad's because he's in the hospital if you guys don't know he had a stroke. Um, and now I am going home. And I just realized while I was out with my mom, she was like telling me, of course, how to live my life because that's what your parents do, right? And I was listening to her and I got to the point in my life where I stopped fighting and arguing with her. I was like, I'm not. I just shut up. Because I tell everybody, just shut the fuck up. When people are saying, don't talk back, don't get mad, just shut up. Shut up, listen, and then respond. Don't just like react, you know? So I just decided I don't even want to react. I was, I didn't even want to respond. I just shut up and I was like, I think I snapped back twice, just, you know, and I had, anyway, I was justified um, because she said two things that slandered my character and I was like, no, you have it wrong. And I defended myself, but that was it because I was like, and I told her, I said, you don't see me for who I am. You still see me as your daughter. You don't see me for all the successes and the wonderful things that I've done with my life and that I'm continuing to do with my life. And that's one thing that you need to stop doing. And then I told her, I said, your best friend, Carmen, she sees me and she sees everything that I've accomplished. You don't. So you should talk to your friend. And that was like the only thing that I said to her. Because it's true. Like as a parent, you see your kid a certain way. She doesn't realize like I'm leaving for a year to film a documentary in 17 countries. I'm leaving next month to go to Sedona to start the documentary. Like I'm doing this. Like she really thinks that I'm not going. And so does my ex-boyfriend. They think I'm saying, and they're like acting as, um, I'm leaving, <laughs> I paid for the whole trip. I'm not giving up all that money. I started a nonprofit, I got the trademark, I paid $2,000 for the tax exemption. I'm going. I, I opened up the bank account. I'm setting things up so that I can accept crypto and get airline miles and I'm out. Bye. And when I get back, any excess money we're using to help relocate climate refugees, to give scholarships to indigenous children in, you know, low income areas or children that deserve a scholarship that never had the chance and can't go to college. Not, not even that they live in a low income area. They just can't afford it. Like I'm doing big things because I have a big freaking heart and I'm tired I'm not even trying to explain it to my mom anymore because she just doesn't get it she doesn't hear it because she doesn't understand how I could be doing this at this point in my life and I think that's crazy because I'm doing it <laughs> how do you not believe in it in me and this and you know what I mean so I just realized some Sometimes the person that was your best cheerleader in life could be the person that tries to kill your dream. And not to throw my mom under the bus because she's not like that. But she just doesn't want me to leave. So she's trying to figure out a way to get me to stay. Because she doesn't want me to miss anything. You know what I mean? Like my sister's got a boyfriend and we're looking forward to her getting married and having a kid. And I was like, Ashley, you better not get pregnant while I'm gone because I don't want to miss you being pregnant. And I don't want to miss the birth of the baby. I want to be there. So you can't have a baby while I'm gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, in, in all reality, like if she does, it is what it is. She's going to have a baby. Like there's something I could do. But, you know, like there's so many things that, that like, and I get it. My family loves me so much and I love them so much. But I cannot stop living my life. I feel like I put my life on hold for 20 years to make everybody happy and to live the life and the dream that they had set for me and all the ideas and hopes that they had for me and I'm over it. Now I'm doing my thing. My mom's like, I wish I would have invested and I'm like, I invested, I invested in crypto. I invested in some stocks. You may not believe in me and what I've invested in, but I did it, you know? I have a lot of assets and I have a lot of material that I could use to generate income. And that's what I'm doing. And there's nobody that can sit here and tell me any different. And I want us to talk to all those people who have naysayers and let you guys know, live your dream. If you can do it and you are not gonna let anybody dissuade you, do it. 
Oh, I lost the cover to my phone. Do it. For what? You're going to stop yourself from living because other people have opinions? Fuck their opinions. I said it.